please. Makes me pip fine. Feels like this shit. Huge fucking rock. It's not. It's not getting any closer. Don't be a Vicario. <gasps> Rick. Rick. Yeah. Keep the stream. Hey guys, thanks for joining back on the channel. My name's Bob Kebab, and today we're going to be talking about how to actually go ahead and build and assemble a mining laser as well as ore collectors. Uh, so those are going to be super helpful when you I find giant asteroids like this one uh, and you don't want to get out and That's use your pickaxe. Um, and this has also kind of been something that I've personally had trouble with. It took a long time for me and my friends to figure out exactly how to wire everything uh, and get this actually bolted onto the ship. So I hope you guys find this video helpful. Uh, if you do, please consider uh, liking the video and subscribing for more content like this. Um, if you have any other ideas for guides or um, things you're looking to see in Starbase, please uh, go ahead and drop that in the comments section as well. So let's get into it. Alright, so these are all of the different pieces that go into assembling a mining laser. Um, so first off, you're going to want to get a small tur turntable base and purchase this from the auction house, um, followed up with the small turntable mount 2. Uh, there's a few different options, so just make sure you're selecting that one. Um, and then the utility tool body. This also has a few different options, so just make sure you're choosing the plain utility tool body. Uh, in addition to that, you'll need a utility tool and rail cannon capacitor. Uh, you'll need two of those to, to plug in. Uh, and finally, your mining laser, uh, as well as the ore collector. That's the only difference between the ore collector and the mining laser is just this last part here. So, um, part Far to unplug it, um, far to unplug the ore collector, it's this, the exact same thing. So. so, how do we go ahead and get all of this built out? Oh. <gasps> so, uh, I like to get the biggest components assembled first, just because I'm afraid of uh, a ship coming by and crashing into this and ruining all of it. So the most expensive part here is the mining laser, or the ore. Uh, collector so what I'm gonna want to do first is connect it to the utility body um, and basically this is the upside uh, so the one with the handle this, this dark gray black gray handle at the top uh, that's gonna be up uh, in relation to everything else it's kind of hard with it being a space game to, to know exactly how everything is supposed to go so um, You'll pick it up using E, obviously, and then you'll try to manipulate it to get behind the flat side, the one that doesn't have an exposed uh, component to it. So uh, this is what it looks like on the back for the mining laser. Take this flat side and then just uh, hold it over here. And as you can see, it can be difficult with the game to manipulate things to get them into the spot. So uh, once it's good, Press E to drop it again, and in. go ahead and secure this with some bolts. So just like so. Boom, boom, boom. That part's taken care of. Next up, I'm going to go ahead and put the capacitors in. Very straightforward. I'm just going to drop them right on top. Hopefully they snap. If you see for whatever reason it's not like snapping to the grid or anything like that like a reminder generally on any object to just press c um, and that will enable or disable the snapping feature um, and that usually does the trick to reset a lot of objects so uh, that's something that i found helpful I, I didn't mention this but once you put the capacitors in there's a spot right in the back here there's two spots here for a bolt uh, you can see they're marked so you can just bolts right on top of it and now they're secured and they won't fly out cool so we have this now uh, we're gonna have to go to the turntable mount as well as the cradle or I guess that is the cradle never mind uh, so the turntable mount and then the base uh, so you'll just take 
the mount and you'll try to line it up there you go all right so it can be hard sometimes so just if you're having issues let's use this here if you're having issues uh the laser is going to be like this far back on the thing uh, so just that will be helpful for you all right and then finally uh this last part here uh is turntable base super easy just plop it on there and call it a day and get everything going or so you thought so i had a friend that was trying to put this final piece onto the uh mining laser and mount it onto his ship uh, he tried everything he could um, to get this piece and you can see how it's highlighted red right got like a weird like edge around it of red um, which is not a good sign at all uh, so there's a few different things you can do one I found that if you just spin the object around a lot like this um, and get it out of point that it has that red you'll be able to drop it so just to show it again hold it off and you can see how there's that red sort of edge around the ring there um, something's going wrong and you can't drop it so all you have to do is just kind of spin it around a bit and drop it no idea that's not explained anywhere uh, that's like a weird bug so just a heads up on that <laughs> and then there will be two bolting spots right here uh, just in the side where they connect so you'll take that and then finally toss it onto your hard point whatever the uh, hard point is that you plan on mounting your device there you go part should be easy you should be able to just nail it into whatever there but before you put your mining laser your ore collector or the material port point scanner on your ship uh, you'll have to have a uh, device hard point set up so this item here the device hard point you can find it in the auction house it's super cheap as well you might be able to craft it on your own um, if you have the research unlocked and you'll want to make sure that the hard point is actually mounted on something substantial so here I have a couple of beams um, I have a couple of beams to make sure that it's all taken care of um, and it doesn't cause any sort of issues uh, so it is it is nice and safe um, yeah and then I also have a beam right here on top uh, this will kind of sit right next to you that I think I can uh, bolt these together so we'll go ahead and drop this on so as always with anything that you're bolting onto your ship you're going to want to watch out for ship durability um, just as a heads up to do that you can press U to open up your universal tool and then under the blueprint menu you can click uh, this middle icon uh, in the top right of that window which will show you uh, your ship lit up terms of its warp class and durability overall um, so here you can see red where there's a trouble area um, and you see there's a trouble area here usually all you have to do is just add a couple more bolts um, but if you have too many bolts sometimes that actually uh, can be a negative and what's your ship cause that part to be uh, worse yeah sometimes bolts fix all your problems um all right so we have it bolted in now it's ready to go and another crucial piece is to make sure that you wired your hard point so with the hard point specifically uh, i didn't really mention it just because it's it was such a mess to put it onto my ship in the first place i didn't want to take it off but uh when you have a hard point set up you're gonna to wanna to find a good spot on your ship to place it, something that preferentially has beams uh, under it so you can quickly bolt those in place and not have to worry um, about it being unsecured or you know, willing, ready to snap off or anything like that. Um, so this is the top point. This is the point that you mount all of the objects that you're gonna put on it, whether it be a thruster or a maneuvering thruster or the mining laser. Um, that's where you put all of this sort of stuff this back side here is the side that should be facing into your ship so um, in here it has some spots for uh, bolting onto whatever object is mounted onto it 
Um, that's an option. You can also do it on the other side. It doesn't matter too much. In here, there's a bunch of different sockets for pipes as well as cables. Um, spots for pipes as well as cables. So one important thing to do uh, that I recommend you guys take care of before you put the final attachments on uh, is to actually make sure everything's piped up in your ship uh, because it is difficult and with the ship that I have, the worker ant, it's very difficult to, to get anywhere deep uh, on the ship. It's, it's all very, there's lots of different rails set up to keep you from going further into the engine. Um, so it's, it's very annoying. Um, so make sure to take this on ahead of time and just to be safe, because you never know what you're going to end up putting onto your ship later, um, you'll want to go ahead and wire both the uh, cable, both the pipe as well as the cable. Um, so you can use them out of the same slot as well. It's fun, nothing wrong, nothing goes wrong with it. Uh, but make sure that the pipe and cables get somewhere back to your ship, whether it be the cargo hold. Uh, or to the main flight computer, you're gonna wanna make sure that uh, at, at the very least, the power cable gets to your main flight computer. Uh, so for the mining laser, it's not as big of a deal, uh, but if you are using the ore collector uh, and it is wired up and you can see that it has power and it's connected to the rest of the ship. So with the mining laser, I don't necessarily think you need the pipe uh, component as much. I don't think I have the pipe attached uh, to the mining laser on this, uh, but for the ore collector, you'll need both the power as well as pipe that connects back to one of your cargo bays. Um, the reason being is that's going to be collected, and where where are those things going to go? Where is that ore going to go? So make sure you have it to the cargo. Um, on mine, you can see I quickly, very sloppily, I, I'll, I'll admit it was very sloppily done, but uh, I attached this ore. Collector, and I wasn't sure what was going on uh, until I just quickly piped it over here and realized, oh, this makes sense. <laughs> um, again, make sure that everything is wiring back to a line that goes to the main uh, control unit on your ship. That way you can program buttons uh, just in front of you, um, as well as just assign them to keybinds. Uh, if you don't want to go and manually press the buttons throughout the time. So um, I'll show you that in just a second here. So, okay, so let's go ahead and assume that you have set up your mining laser or your ore collector and you have everything wired up perfectly. First off, how can we check to see if it's actually correctly attached to the ship? Well, one, you, I'm just going to go ahead and open up that U menu and go to the data tab. Uh, and if it is actually properly connected to the ship, uh, you should see a lot of these logs going and this shows what's happening in the rest of your ship. Um, so that means that this is indeed connected to the computer, which is great. This is awesome. Um, and then you can see all these different values. Um, and also up here, you can see the name of the unit, which is uh, mining laser and turn it on. Uh, you need a button that will turn it on. Which is so the same goes for the ore collector. Uh, so I have a button on the bottom right of my control panel here that uh, is titled and named mining laser on exactly how it is on the mining laser. So that means when I toggle this button on the mining laser will come on and I can turn it off like that. Uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, something that I've done is I've actually went a step further and when I am in the seat of the ship, I've gone ahead and pressed V as in Victor to open up my binds uh, for everything. And you can actually set uh, key binds that correspond to the different buttons on your ship. So I went ahead and for mining laser on, I bound it to my mouse button. Uh, so click do that. And the one last note that I will have is that if you are putting a mining laser or ore collector onto your ship, um, just know that it's going to take a ton of power. Uh, so at the very beginning, it may kind of deter you uh, just because 
let's let's watch here let's see so i have a full battery right now and let's see how quickly the mining laser drains it so you can see very quickly uh i've had it on for a few seconds and it's already completely just cruising through it it's so in a few seconds over half your battery is gone um, and if you're trying to mine a larger asteroid or just you're not as good with aiming it or anything like that it can be very costly uh, so with your ship it's going to be a lot quicker i actually bid <laughs> i actually went back and added uh, four additional batteries and a whole generating unit just because i knew that this thing was taking up so much energy um, and even then, I, I think I can take out a smaller asteroid uh, without having to stop at any point, um, which is cool. But the thing guzzles so much fuel um, and electricity. So just keep that in mind, especially if you're going to put two, you're probably going to need either a, a larger, more advanced ship or um, you'll need to create a um, additional uh, component onto your ship. So best of luck as you guys are putting all of these new pieces together. And if you guys found this video helpful, feel free to drop a like below and consider subscribing for more content like this. Um, and hope this video helped and uh, hope to see you back.